We can't sit back now. We still have several villages to evac. You realize it's the middle of the night over here? Then you're gonna be up all night if that's what it takes. Over and out. Late night, huh? As long as there are people still in danger over there, I wouldn't be able to sleep even if I tried. Time for Agatha's ritual. The moon can't get any more right. Are you ready? Are you? I'm prepared as I can be. And I'll have some additional help. Who? Agatha asked me to recruit a few of the others. How many people will be joining us? All the Midnight Suns, Doctor Strange. And Logan overheard me talking with Nico and decided to come along. He believed you? He said, I've seen weirder stuff in my day. But he used another word for stuff. We should go. I'll lead the way. Everyone's here. We're almost ready to begin. What else do we need? The braziers indicate the ritual boundary. Once you light them, we can begin. What do they have to do with the ritual? They mark the ritual space. As long as nothing crosses the boundary, we should be fine. And if something goes wrong, we'll be fine. They'll contain whatever goes wrong. I will be right back. This is it. Hunter, I never asked. Are you all right with this? I know it is what you want, but this might be the last time we speak. I thought the last time we'd ever speak was three centuries ago. The chance to spend time with you again. I am so lucky and so proud. If this doesn't work, please don't let Sarah know. She shouldn't have to lose me again. I understand. But it will work. Wanda knows what she's doing. I believe in her. In all of you. Besides, I'm Agatha Harkness. The world won't be rid of me till I'm ready to go. Ah, Hunter! My anticipation for this moment was boundless. You knew about her ghost? I sensed her energy, and I knew she wasn't a hostile spirit. Why did you not say anything? I could always trust Agatha to have an elaborate plan. I surmised she would enact it when necessary. And so she has. Keeping secrets, eh? <laughs> That's Agatha for you. Between you and me, I knew she wasn't really gone. How so? Agatha always had a backup plan. I used to say she could cheat death at cards. Never thought I'd be right. Don't know how this is possible, but I'm not surprised. Why not? You and Wanda working together. What can't you do? That's not an expression. If I wake up tomorrow and there's a second moon in the sky, I'll assume it has something to do with you two. Hey, Hunter. Thanks for doing, uh, all of this. Do you know what we're doing? No idea. So why are you here? Why else? To support you and Wanda. Oh, and Agatha too. Thanks, Robbie. 
Of course. When Agatha's back, she'll want to see some familiar faces. Happy to be one of them. So, I'm a little pissed at you. I could not tell anyone about Agatha. Ugh, not that. Here, I was thinking you and Wanda were gonna be a thing, but no, that was all a ruse. Anything is possible. We're about to restore the spirit of Agatha Harkness, so I guess you're right. So, here we are. I cannot wait to see Agatha again, and for Wanda to bring her back. She told me she could never have done this without you. Once again, you help Wanda restore herself. You are good for her. Not everyone has that when the world around you is bleak. Thanks, Magic. What are friends for? That was not rhetorical. Sometimes I wonder. Fires are lit. Any last words before we begin? Once we start, there's no going back. Let us begin. What do you need me to do? Stand back and make sure nothing disturbs us. The Grey Seneschal is a finicky ritual. Agatha Harkness, can you hear me? I can. The Grey Seneschal extends a hand. Shall you take it, knowing it may lead to your destruction? I shall. Do you willingly sever your bond to this world? Knowing it may lead to your dissolution. I do. And will you open yourself to the Grey Seneschal, knowing it may lead to your possession? I will. Spoken, witnessed, and sealed. I can, I will, now begin. Steady, Wanda. I call upon the Grey Seneschal. Seize the spirit of Agatha Harkness, and deliver her into this world. It's her! Oh, I can see her! I can see- Agatha? Sarah, wait. She did not want you to find out like this. How are you here? I couldn't find a keepsake. A simple spell said it was here. The locket. Wanda stole it. I nearly caught her outside my room, didn't I? Wanda was the lookout. I am the one who stole it. Why would you do that to me? Agatha asked me to. Asked? Why would you pull her back from her final rest? You should know better. Sarah, she never left the Abbey. She's been here for months. Then what are you? The Grey Seneschal. I won't let you do this to her. Sarah, wait! Wanda won't destroy her again. Sarah, no! What have you done to her? Nothing worse than what you've done, Sarah. Agatha? You were the worst thing to happen to me. Oh, how I loathed our time together. It took death. To finally free me of your insipid- This isn't Agatha. Reveal yourself. <laughs> Hello, sweetling. Mephisto. Release Agatha. We have no quarrel with you. I have quarrel with him. You want me to simply give you this withered ecto puppet? Come now. Someone must know how this works. It's always the same with you. The devil is here, and he's ready to bargain. Ah, the hairy little creature remembers how it works. No bargains. Release Agatha, right now. No, no, no. I'm willing to make a simple trade. Give me Iliana, and you can have this faded rag of a spirit.
No bargains. Then I'll destroy her and leave. Do not touch her. I thought you were the true power here. But if you have no hold over the Queen of Limbo, you're as useless to me as this wizened phantasm. Wait. I will speak with Ileana. Good, good. But don't take too long. If you delay, I'll melt this shriveled spirit. There is little to say. Ileana, I am just stalling for... Shush. There is little to say because I know how to push him out. What is the plan? If I banish him directly, he takes her with him. But if I channel my power through someone close to Agatha... Wham! Sucker punch! He loses control, I banish him, and Agatha stays behind. Then why have you not done it already? Channeling my power through a person causes lasting injury. I do not know who should bear this suffering. I can only offer myself. Hunter, this is quite dangerous. Are you certain? To save Agatha, defy the devil, and keep you from his clutches? Of course I am certain. You are a fool. But you are the best fool I know. Give me the signal when you're ready. Enough deliberations. Do we have a bot? Magic. What do we say to the devil? We say... The devil can go to hell! Agatha? Sarah, you can hear me? And see you. What, no kiss? And that's how I know it's you. What you've done here, to bring everyone together, it's... It's not enough. I've never been more delighted to tell you how wrong you are. This is so much better than we'd expected. We just need to finish it. We? Does that mean you'll stay and help? You thought I did all this to say goodbye? Oh, Sarah, you're hopeless. Not anymore. Look at that. Hunter, would you mind walking with me? They deserve some privacy. Indeed. Agatha's back. It worked. We do well together. I was thinking the same thing. So what now? We should let them catch up. Agreed. See you tomorrow. I'm going to bed and don't plan to set an alarm. Do you think we could try and talk to Johnny? Maybe Agatha and Johnny can both haunt the Abbey. And all is as it should be. Miss Maximoff acquitted herself with aplomb, as did you and Miss Rasputin. Are you concerned about Mephisto? <laughs> no more than any other day. You kids actually did it. Agatha's back. This place already feels more lively. So to speak. I just keep going over it again and again in my head. It still doesn't make sense. You and Magic deftly handled Mephisto. I dare say Steve would approve. I can't thank you enough. And I'm certain I will over the coming days. But right now, do you mind terribly if I catch up with the love of my life? And afterlife. 
Don't make me haunt you. Why are you smiling? Because you're dead. Hangman. Damn it. No offense, Hunter, but you suck. I couldn't have come up with an easier answer. The irony of a Dampier telling me that I suck is not lost on me, Eric. Hey, keep it down or this game isn't the only thing you'll be losing tonight. Is that why you brought me here? To tell me how much I suck at parlor games? Actually, I'm here to tell you how much you don't suck. You're turning out to be one of my favorite people, and I don't like people. What about Captain Danvers? Is she not your favorite person? I don't know her as well as you. Been a while since I've had someone to lean on who handles their inner demons with as much swagger as you do. You remind me of this guy I used to work with, Hannibal King. He knew how to walk the line between good and evil without falling off, not unlike you. Hannibal, what a villainous name. Did he actually dine on people? No, man. I, I mean, he was a vampire, but not the worst of them. Turned out to be someone decent. We worked together to track down the vamp who killed my mother, Deacon Frost. He didn't have to help me, but he did. Proves that even the baddest of the bad can still have a heart, even if it's not beating. Resisting succumbing to your own darkness takes a shitload of willpower. I'm proud of you for resisting yours. Just don't fall off the wagon. What happens if I do? Then I'll just have to kill you. Just like I killed my mentor, Jamal. You never told me what happened with that. Well, here's the abridged version. Dracula turned Jamal into a Class A Nosferatu, and I had no choice but to put him down. Hardest thing I ever had to do. But mark my words, Hunter. If you ever go 100% evil on me, I won't think twice about taking you out, too. And I give you permission to. You do? If I ever became a danger to others, I would want you to put me down. Let's just hope it never comes to that. Already lost enough friends that way. Don't want to lose another. Then here is to not killing each other. I'll drink to that. Oh, and Hunter, this blood's for you. put her in shackles and dragged her to the courthouse. Sure, they were going to take the torch to her, or the noose. But Agatha's not the kind of witch that would let herself burn. No, she's not. So, how did she get out of being another victim of the wild imaginations of superstitious villagers? She stood obstinately, brows furrowed, and declared, who do you think you are to accuse Agatha Harkness of being a witch? She denied being a witch? Sarah's giving you the polite version. Agatha wasn't stingy with a profanity. I think she even made the judge cry. So she, uh, cursed her way out of it? More like hexed. When she left the courthouse that day, I believe most of the local magistrates were toads. I'm pretty sure they were always toads. As I remember it, the charges were dropped against her because she had one hell of a good lawyer. Threatened to sue him if they dared to put another witch on trial. And they never did. 
Hey, uh, can I ask a favor? Okay, not live ghost, obviously, but... Awesome! Uh, thanks, Hunter. Hunter, that was irresponsible. Please, selfless of you. Great news, Parker. Got my... Hey, Hunter. Okay, Central. Work your magic. Wanna read something that'll make you weep? Take a look at this. Hydra thinks they're so clever. Just imagine if they actually were. They might be in trouble. No problem. Naturally. Quiet, too. I spent some time decrypting the data drive Crossbones gave to Cap. I hope it gave us good information on Hydra. He gave us good intelligence, all right. But it's not about Hydra. It's about us. Take a look. He had files on all of us. Cap, me, Stark, Blade, Magic, Nico, everyone. Strengths, weaknesses. Mostly weaknesses. You have to remember, Crossbones wanted Cap to have this. As far as I'm concerned, none of this information is trustworthy. Maybe so. But I've read what he wrote about me, and it's not wrong. He even dug up my old flight school records. He was thorough, in the creepiest way. This isn't even all of it. There's a whole other section, but... I can't access it. More encryption. Multiple layers of it. I could probably get it, but it'll take me a while. Cap could make this go a lot quicker. Where is he? I am surprised he is not going over these files with you. He was with me when we first unlocked the drive. He was already agitated from Crossbones' death, but I think seeing what he had on us really set him off. He excused himself in a hurry. Now I need him back. I will find him and convince him to come back. You do not have to worry about that. I have no doubt you can be most persuasive when you want to be, Hunter. Was there anything about me on that drive? Strangely, no. Not a word. Odd. I'll keep trying to break this code while you find Cap. I knew there were ghosts here at the Abbey. Thought I heard the cat talking to someone the other day. Steve, Carol needs your help decrypting Crossbones' files. <laughs> it figures she'd send you. Did she tell you I want nothing to do with it? Because I still don't. Tell me why this is a problem. It was something Crossbones said. The old man. He was talking about my greatest enemy. Who? The Red Skull commanded Hydra during the war. Obsessed with the occult. You think the Red Skull has something to do with those files? I'm certain. One file is called Project Gutmorder. A classic name for a Red Skull terror weapon. Rumlow wants... Wanted me to use the tools of my oldest enemy to defeat the newest. I won't give him the satisfaction. Steve, we need to know what the file says. Information from any source is valid if it helps us defeat Lilith. A tool is just a tool justifies so many terrible outcomes. I won't be part of anything cooked up by the Red Skull. That is not your call to make. You helped put me in charge. Now trust me to do my job. Well, I guess you have been paying attention. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, huh? <sighs> I'll talk to Carol and do what I can. Thanks for helping me work through this, Hunter. Of course.
I wonder what the last straw was that pushed Crossbones to our side. We might actually get some use out of Crossbones info. So, what do you think of Storm? I am eager to work alongside her. Mm, she has that effect on people. Even on you. She was my mentor. Of course I respected her. But it had to be earned first. Some leaders blather on to avoid making tough decisions. But not Storm. Well, she did not go into much detail about the extent of her powers, but they sound impressive. Impressive? <laughs> she is 100% grade A badass. A hundred badasses. Got it. Ah, oh, you are hopeless. Are my protection wards not working today? Magic must really admire Storm. I haven't seen her this chipper since... Well, ever. You have not set anything on fire today, have you? 